Hey, I just want to start off by introducing myself. My name is Jamie DiNicola, and I am part of the Trans Calendar Project for the 2015 issue. Um, I just wanted to make this little video to give you um, a little introduction about myself, so when and if you see me in the calendar, you won't just be like, who's that guy in the red shirt? I'll be like, that was Jamie. Um, I really like him. So I am from New Jersey. Um, although I am not a Guido, I am Italian. Um, it's nothing like Jersey Shore, I promise. Well, sometimes a little bit. Not in my area, though. But, um, I am from central New Jersey, so 45 minutes from New York City, 45 minutes from Philadelphia. I'm kind of, like, in the middle of everything. Um, I just graduated from Rutgers this past May, um, with a double major in gender studies, cliche I know, but it was awesome. Gender studies and political science with a minor in filmmaking. Um, kind of my passions around that would just be like political activism, um, queer politics, filmmaking, those are all kind of things that I'm super passionate about, so it was fitting that I majored in those things. Um, filmmaking, filmmaking has been a really big passion of mine. Um, I created a film for um, the Rutgers Film Festival this past year and it was um, submitted and it got included actually and it was just basically a short documentary about my transition and about um, just all the things that go along with that so I'll probably like maybe include the link somewhere down underneath whatever um, so y'all can see that. Um, my hobbies I guess would be like photography, video editing, filmmaking, um, being trying to be an entrepreneur, I'm always trying something new. I'm, I'm very good at coming up with ideas, not so great at executing them, but at least I try. Um, I really like the outdoors. I'm big into hiking. Um, I don't know all of the fun things. Um, my, I guess what's going on in my life right now is that since I just graduated, I'm kind of experiencing a little bit of like the um, post grad blues lost coming of age cliche um so it's been weird like this is i'm i'm back this is my room at home back in my house um with my parents even though they're like really awesome and everything it's just weird being you know 22 living with your parents after graduating i think that's pretty natural but for the most part i'm doing really well um my parents are super supportive i have like a great sense of community here so it's really been good. I have nothing to complain about. I, um, yeah, I'm a lucky guy. I, um, short-term goals, I guess, would be that I'm having top surgery in the fall and that I kind of just have to keep pushing for that because I'm getting my top surgery covered by my insurance company, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield NJ Direct. Um, they're really great, but it's just been really difficult, like, going back and forth, getting all the paperwork in time, and making sure that I'm going to be able to have it fully covered, um, in the fall with Dr. Medali. Um, so those are my short-term goals. Hopefully it'll be around October, November when I am getting top surgery. Um, but it could be later than that, I guess. So it's kind of just been like something that I have to keep being optimistic about. Um, in terms of my long-term goals, I am currently now trying to launch an Indiegogo campaign. Um, well, not right now, but I'm in working on it now in the campaign for just queers.com which is basically um, a community building dating site for solely, exclusively for queer individuals, hence the name. Um, because I basically think that the community, the queer community in specific is super vast and expansive and scattered across all geographical differences and um, all different social media. And I just want to bring the queer community centralized together in this one space where we could maybe just like look at a map and be like, this is where my queers are or these are where the queers are nearest to me and just have kind of like some sort of way of finding your community a little bit easier um so that's what i'm working on right now because i found that just like things like okcupid um, match.com they're super binary and super uh focused on you know not our community for sure not the queer community so i definitely want to create something that is a little bit different than that so trying new things is definitely something that I've always been um, doing in my life. I'm always trying to create a new idea, a new entrepreneurial venture. Most of the time they don't work out, sometimes they do, but that's kind of something that I have a uh, passion for is just trying new things and 
um, trying to be as innovative and creative as I can. Um, everything's been pretty good this summer. It's been pretty awesome. I just got back from California about a month ago. I was visiting my queer friends out in San Francisco because I met them when I was out there doing internships and they've been like my friends ever since. So that was pretty awesome. Um, what else is going on? Um, in terms of my transition, I am going to be 12 months on testosterone um, August 29th. So by the time you all are watching this, I will have finally reached my 12 months on T-Mark, which is super exciting because that's when I'll be able to submit all, the, all my paperwork to my insurance company because they will not cover my uh, top surgery until I have met the 12 month requirement. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, it's, the facial hair is coming in, I guess. It's pretty good. I'm a hairy Italian. Um, my sense of community in this area, um, New Jersey is not like known for being super, super queer, but I think that I'm really blessed to be in the central part of New Jersey where I can, you know, take a train to New York City and be there in like 30, 40 minutes and I can drive down to Philadelphia in the same amount of time. So I think that I'm really blessed to be around such a um, liberal environment and I think that's really helped me find my community in a lot of ways. Um, whether that be on like Instagram or Facebook, I've been able to definitely find a sense of community in the area. Um, I have a couple just trans friends that are just from New Jersey that I'm able to see all the time, so that's awesome. And they just, you know, help me with my daily trans struggle and all that. Um, but I think that having like a queer community online has definitely been super, super helpful. And knowing that like if I wanted to take a road trip to like, I don't know, Montreal, I could do that because I have queer friends there. So it's just, I think it's really great having um, that sense of community. Um, in terms of the emotional exciting things that are coming up for me, it would definitely be top surgery in the fall because I feel sort of like my life is on hold until I have top surgery because I feel like I can't travel and like I can't find a full-time job because I have this thing that I know is going to be happening. I just don't know the day yet. So it's very, it's kind of frustrating to not know exactly when this is happening and it's such a life-changing event. Um, but other than that, everything's been going really, really well. Um, I really just wanted to be a part of this project because I think it adds a lot of visibility to the community and I think visibility is super super important so and I wanted to be a part of it personally because I want to be available and visible for people if they ever need anything at all whether it be um, like advice or just someone to talk to to relate to about certain things certain queer trans struggles um, so that's why I provide my information. So if you want to, you know, message me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever. Um, I don't really have a channel that I post regularly on, but you can find me on there. Um, and just, you know, I'm more than willing to help whoever needs it. I don't know how, how helpful I can be, but I can try. So, um, yeah, um, that's about it. All right. Hope to be hearing from some of you soon. Bye.